This year's school tour celebrated the 200th birthday of one of the world's favourite monsters, created by Mary Shelley in her novel Frankenstein. When Mary was just five, the Italian showman Giovanni Aldini came to London with a brand new invention, a battery. His performance consisted of taking the corpse of a man recently hanged for murder, attaching wires from the battery and causing the corpse to convulse and twitch as if coming back to life. The child Mary was not there amongst the hundreds of spectators, of course, but the story of the gruesome incident was everywhere, and that's what inspired her book 13 years later, in which a monster is brought to life with a bolt of lightning. We showed the students what a mystery the invisible force of electricity was back then. Nobody knew how it gave people shocks, or created lightning, or attracted things, or apparently brought dead animals to life. Then another oddity was discovered in Sweden in 1820. Hans Christian Ørsted noticed that when a wire carrying electricity was near a compass, the compass needle was deflected, just a tiny amount. That tiny movement changed the course of history. We gave students the chance to be as mystified as Ørsted and to speculate what might be going on. The electricity, it's also passing through the compass a little bit. Is it the electricity is getting onto the... Yeah. Is it interfering with the magnetic? Is it kind of messing up the force of the gravity? Is it inside the um, switch thing? Coming from like underneath there. Is it the like metal bit inside the wire? What the students found is that magnets can make electricity, electricity can make magnets, and together they make electromagnetic motors. Simple but astonishing. Ten years later, the electric motor was a reality. Our students made and tested electromagnets. If you cut the current now, then use them to spin a ball. Not quite as efficiently as the commutator in a regular electric motor, but much more fun. Our lives depend on electric motors, in hospitals literally, and industry, and everywhere around your house, from toothbrush to washing machine. And now, soon, all cars will be using them. This is a good time to find out how they work. Thank you.